Welcome to one more video. My name is Caio Moreno. I'm a senior cloud solution architect and Azure data scientist at Microsoft. This is my LinkedIn. And today I'm going to help you how to understand the difference between the exams and how you can prepare for the certifications. So if you are an AI engineer, machine learning engineer, a data scientist, or if you're a data engineer, uh, this video is going to help you. And if you're looking to learn more about Azure and you are uh, thinking to uh, spend more of your time working with our platform, uh, this video is the right video for you to watch. So when you when you think about becoming a AI engineer, the, the first certification that you should look is, is what you call AI 100. So this certification uh, is going to help you to design and implement Azure AI solutions. And when we talk about AI solutions, uh, it, it goes beyond machine learning. We have another exam that is the DP100, and that exams cover machine learning, where you're going to use Azure Machine Learning Service to train your machine learning models and deploy those models at scale. But when we talk about AI 100 certification, we're talking about more service required to build your AI solution. So this is the first exam that I would recommend you to take. And this exam will cover um, Cognitive Service. It's going to cover uh, uh, the data storage offers we have and all the AI capabilities we have, like uh, custom vision, uh, also Louis, and all the bot framework we have. So this goes beyond machine learning. Machine learning is a part of this certification, and and this is really like what I believe. If you are interested in learning, you should start. So it doesn't matter if you're a data engineer, data scientist, if you're a machine learning engineer, or even if you want to learn uh, this field. Uh, all all those desires they 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 will help you to achieve the certification so yeah this is definitely the the starting point if you're starting your journey in ai at microsoft so start with this one uh, this one is going to help you uh, go and move to the other ones so then i think if you were data scientist uh, the next certification that I will recommend to you uh, uh, is that you should do the DP100. And the DP100 is uh, designing and implementing data science solutions on Azure. And this exam pretty much focus on machine learning. So, okay, how do I use Azure Machine Learning Service? Uh, to train and deploy my machine learning models into, into production. So this is pretty much what this certification is going to cover. It's going to test you around Python a lot. It's going to test you about your knowledge, uh, how you deploy your models, how you store your models. So this, this solution is pretty much focused uh, on the machine learning pipelines using Azure. So if you're a data engineer, uh, I definitely recommend you to do this one, the DP200. If you are a data scientist, you also should do it. I work with a lot of data scientists that they say, I am not a data engineer. I don't do data engineer, engineering. But I don't think this is really the right approach. Because when you are working in a project, you can also be required to do data engineer tasks. So most of the time, you're going to spend much more time collecting the data, storing the data, processing the data, doing the data transformation, doing a lot of data engineer tasks. And if you don't know how to do it, it's just going to slow down the, pro the project. So I really recommend you, even if you're a data scientist, to do the data engineer certification, especially the DP200 and the DP201. So this solution is about implementation 
uh, the certification, sorry, and the other certification is around designing an Azure solution. So those certifications, this, those four certifications, they are the, uh, I would say, the basic ones for you to achieve. So you should focus on uh, those four certifications, and I'm going to give you some of my own tips now. They are not Microsoft tips. They are my own tips. I work for Microsoft, but this is not an official tip from Microsoft. This is just Kyle's tip to help you achieve the, the certifications. And of course, I'm going to just uh, taking care that I'm not going to say too much about the exams because I don't want to uh, do anything against the policy and I don't want to uh, uh, damage anyone. So those tips that I put on my blog, they are really respecting um, the policies and I'm just going to point you to some official materials from Microsoft on those posts where those materials are going to help you to achieve the certification. So since I launched this blog post some months ago, I had a lot of feedback, a lot of positive feedback from people. They reach out to me and they said, Kayo, I use your materials to prepare. I passed the certification. Thank you very much for uh, your post. So for those people that are already passed the certification, I'm very happy for you guys. And for the people that are watching this video and you guys are preparing, I really recommend you to do as the other guys that they, they use those materials that I, that I share and they use this to pass. So if you click uh, on each one of the links, I'm going to the, put the links on my YouTube video as well. And if you click on the, the links, you're going to have uh, more details on how to pass. Each one of the links have a YouTube video with a lot, um, around one hour session uh, explaining how to prepare. So uh, have a look in, in these videos. And so we're talking about four certifications. Uh, it will take you some months to achieve all of them. So uh, start with the AI 100, then the DP 100, then the DP 201, 200. If you're a data engineer, just go directly to 201 and 200. But yeah, you don't have to follow any rule, any 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 guidance from me. You could just do whatever certification you want and what works best for you. So don't forget about the Microsoft Learn Portal. Uh, you can click on this link, and this is definitely uh, an amazing material for anyone that is starting. I use this portal a lot for my own learnings. I'm still learning a lot about machine learning and Microsoft and Azure, and there's always things to learn, and I use this portal a lot for my own uh, learning. So just to finish this video, I'm just going to quickly click on those links and show you how you could um, use them. So if you click in the first one, I'm not going to click in all the links just for the sake of time. So coming here. So this is one, how to prepare for Microsoft Azure certification AI. So you see, I, I give some tips and also I put a video. OK, and then you can use this video. This is my uh, blog post and just going to share that today I share my uh, Medium blog that Microsoft hired the creator of Python, Guido, and it's very, very good news. I'm very excited that Guido joined Microsoft. Uh, he is the creator of Python. And I think we're going to see a lot of great thing coming in the next months uh, around this incredible uh, uh, moment that we're living now uh, at Microsoft with many people from the open source community joining the company and helping uh, to uh, create more open source projects. So this is just my blog. If you didn't see, I have a video on how to become an Azure data scientist. This is also in my YouTube channel. And there is more, more posts about many of the Microsoft solutions. And I, I just going to go back to this one and click on the DP 200. 
just to quickly show you uh, about this other certification. And this certification is a certification that uh, I'm very proud that I did during the pandemic. So I was uh, in the middle of the COVID pandemic. I passed around May uh, this year. And, and now we are back to lockdown. And you probably, if you are in London and you're watching this uh, video, maybe it's a good time for you to use your time at home. We cannot go and just use this time to pass your certification. So I have uh, other ones and I'm going to finish now. Uh, if you have questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. If you click here, you see that have a uh, my my Twitter and also my LinkedIn, uh, and happy to talk more about uh, the certifications. So yes, uh, that's what I have to to tell you guys today. Uh, just gonna put my my LinkedIn again here in the video and um, yeah and I hope you guys all pass the four certifications that I I presented today.